All right, here we go. Let's put the Landini to good work. I'm just going to run it up once again to six kilometers, not six miles an hour. Five to six miles an hour seems realistic, doesn't it? Four. There we go. That seems to be a realistic speed right there for cultivating. Now, when I put it on, it actually did turn the beacons on automatically, so I don't know. Maybe that's just something they do, but... Get turned around here. All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and... You, that's what it looks like. <laughs> This is what it looks like when you cultivate. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And before we decide what to do with the fertilizer, I'm going to check and see if there's manure available. Because if I can get at least one field manured with free fertilizer, wouldn't that be great? I don't know if we have enough, though. We've had the cows for two, two or three days, I think. So, yeah, maybe four days now. I, I would think by now we'd have some milk. i got to check their food, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm going all over the place. But now we have time. Once again, it's no longer a rush because we're on standard regular time. It's no longer like like crush time in the game. Because that was a pain in the butt. All right, guys. I'll see you when I'm done cultivating. Bye. All right. We are we are done. We are done. We are done. The McCormick is finished. We've got our, both of our fields cultivated. It is now 3.30 in the afternoon. Bibink. <laughs> Bibink. Oh, that thing was... That was really quick. Fastest cleaning I've ever seen on a... Must have been cross-cleaning. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this away. First thing we're going to do is we're going to... We need to do a... Oh, I can't see. Uh, we need to do a checkup on the cows. I think I'll put... Man, it's so hard to figure out where to put this stuff. There we go. Can I... Oops. <laughs> just a little too touchy. All right, let go. No touchy. Z, move the device down. Detach. Nope. It must know that there's... There we go. It won't let you... Oh, that's kind of cool. It won't let you put it too close to something else. So. But now I have I have no spot to park the tractor, but... Okay, whatever. One us hop out. Lights off. Okay. Let's go run up over to the cow area. Moo. Let's see if we can get any fertilizer out of those cows. I'm going to take the little... This little fella. And we'll decide if we need to sell the pickup truck or not. The pickup truck really does nothing aside from let you get to the shop faster. Um, but then again, that is kind of nice. So it is such a dark day on the farm, man. All right, so here's here's our stuff. Let's see how the cows are doing. What are you laughing at, Vi? You're silly, kid. E, jump out. We got some solid manure, five percent. We've got how much? Li probably just a little bit then, huh? Liquid manure, two percent. That's like nothing. <laughs> but maybe it holds a whole bunch. We'll have to see. We'll try to fill the trailer up. Let's take a look at our cow stats. Um, five percent, two percent. Cows, one hundred percent prepared. There's no milk. We still have zero milk. Why is there no milk? It's day four. I mean, these cows should be producing milk by now. Does it go in here? Milk zero. I am so confused right now by this. But maybe not enough time has passed. I. It might take a while. I know somebody said it takes a while. Uh, I wonder under if we can look in our map under our um, under our stuff statistics. Animal rearing. Breeding statistics 100% on the cows. Economy efficiency low. Economic efficiency. Profit zero. General profitability zero. Harvest efficiency zero. Lost effective harvest amount. Upgrade level prepared fodder production 80%. But why? How can that be 80% when there's no milk? I just don't get it. Energy. Fields. Low. Estimated profit, nothing. But why is our estimated profit on the cows zero? That's where that's where the problem comes in, right? Cows one hundred percent. Economic efficiency zero. Estimated profit zero. Let's take a look at the encyclopedia and see if they tell us um 
What are we missing out here? Rearing cow step by step. Feeding. Cows can be fed with natural fodder or fodder with synthetic additives. Okay. That's right. Selling the milk. Step two. Cows produce adult cows produce milk that you can sell. For example, in the dairy. Thank you. I know that. Manure can be sold at the biogas plant or used as natural fertilizer on the fields. We know that too. Cows can be sold at the butchers. <laughs> Not ready for that yet, but I now I does it it doesn't give us direct stats on our cows though. That I don't like that. Like it should tell us how old exactly old the cows are. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah. Stock market. Wheat's going up. Rye, barley's up. Everything's up. Hemp, coffee. Can't do those. Brother. Oh, oh, brother, where art thou? Okay, so let's see how much... Let's see actually how much manure we have. Um, we're probably going to have to buy a fertilizer. And like I said, unless that... Attach root device. Let's run down here. There's probably not going to be anything in there, but. May not be worth even tapping. Well, let's fill it up. Our transfer. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Worthless. Uh. Okay, so we're just gonna park this here because there's really I can't do anything with that like nothing amount that's useless. We'll just leave it in there and get more when it comes out, but that sucks. So really, the cows are we're having a hard time with the cows for sure. Might as well just leave the vehicle actually because I don't need this for anything else. Um, so the cows right now are an F for failure. Um, they got plenty of fodder. Actually, their stats are the same as they were before, so maybe maybe I just need to wait another day or two. Maybe maybe they're only two days old. They might only be two days old. It took me like two days to get all the equipment back to the house, so maybe they're only a day old. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I guess the next step is to uh, start getting our fields seeded. Let's see what we can do with this seeder. So the linder goes back to the small field. Um... And um, maybe, you know, let's take the tab too. I want to see real quick what uh, what the statistics are. Encyclopedia, washing machines, inspecting machines, gas stations, advanced part, forager function, manure, silage, fodder, baling. Hay and mow grass a lot easier. Baled straw can be sold at the grass. And the grass makes perfect sense. But can you sell silage? Let's look at the map. Um, selling agricultural materials. Wheat, rye, potato, barley, p cabbage, plums, apples, pears, milk. Doesn't say anything about straw. Stock market. Wheat, rye, barley, potatoes, rice, hemp, coffee, canola, olives, grapes, milk, peppers, tomatoes, cabbages, plums, apples, pears, cherries. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Manure, liquid fertilizer. That's cool. Wasabi, eggplant, chili. Oh my gosh, eggs. And that's it. I don't see straw or grass anywhere. Um, well, let's see what's going on here. These are all things that are on Earth. This is a storage facility. Is that a butcher? Pigsty. Hmm. Trade center. Vegetable fruit storage. Um, industrial mill. They take barley, rye, and wheat. Okay. These guys. Food market two. Peppers, cabbages, tomatoes, plums, pears, apples, blah, blah, blah. Wheat. Okay, that's granary. The milkshake. A milkshake bar. My. Never mind. <laughs> Potato chip factory takes potatoes. That's cool. Automatic wash. 
Gas station number four. There's a butcher. Burger factory. Ooh, go burgers. Hmm. Food export Italy for pe- oh that's cool. Peppers, cabbages, tomatoes, eggs. Japan they want apples, pears, and plums. Logistics center. Meat export. Potato warehouse. Vegetable fruit storage. I wish they had a color code here. Like, this is where you sell things. Grain warehouse. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't tell me anything. (laughs) That's my Arthur's very unhappy voice right now. What is this? Automatic wash. Trade center. Trade center. Biogas factory. Well, we know that's where we take the manure and stuff. Um... Small grass storage. Liquid for grass storage. Yeah, no. Nope, 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 nope. All right, I'll keep looking. I'll tell you if I find it. Well, I've got a... I put a APB out there on Steam requesting somebody help. Like, where do I sell these bales? And we'll find out, I guess. Hopefully someone will answer. But I'm hoping... All I've seen information on is selling grass bales. So I don't know. You might not even be able to sell... Uh, I mean, uh, selling wheat bales. I, you may not be able to sell... Ooh, grass bales. One thing I hate about the controls, once again, when you let go of the controller, the thing just keeps rolling. Now, they're trying to make it realistic, but when you're using a keyboard, that sucks. I wish you could turn that on and off. Let me get this thing hooked up. I'm really hoping... that this allows us to buy... Okay, there Fertilizer too. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the store real quick. I know I keep going into the pad. I'm sorry, guys, but some information is only available in the pad. So, uh, cultivation. Let's take a look at the the thingamajigger. Oh yes. No. Oh no. Information. Basic seeder used on small. You said thanks to its compact size, it can be attached to most tractors. So I've got the feeling that they're not modeling the fact that this can actually spread fertilizer, which means we're going to have to buy a fertilizer, unfortunately. Ah, frig. Let's press the wrong button, sorry. So we'll just, we'll pull it over here by the uh, fertilizer. Let's see, liquid fertilizer. And what else we got? Solid fertilizer. Work? Nope. So I actually need to move that harvester because I can't get in there. To, even if I had a fertilizer, we probably need to put fertilizer down first. Usually, when you well, I could do it right after. I guess you could put the. Let's move this guy out of the way. This is not a good spot for this. We'll go put this over by our windrower. And it's four. Oh, and we're back up to times three for some reason. There must be something on my Logitech uh, keypad that I keep pressing that's making time advance fast, which sucks. Though, I guess, in a way, it's not bad because in real life, you know, it would it, you wouldn't be able to plant and sow and, like, plow all your fields in one day. So it's kind of making it slightly realistic, but it's still frustrating. I want to control that. I don't want the game to do it. Once again, it's a it's a mistake. It's not the game's fault necessarily. I just keep pressing the wrong keys, so I have to keep checking and making sure that it's not fast forwarding. All right, so let's see. We'll just pull it in here and see if it the liquid slash solid gives us a thumbs up or not. But if not, we'll have to put down some fertilizer. Nope, nope, and nope. Okay, so this is a cedar only. So that we'll seed, we'll fertilize, and we're gonna have to get a fertilizer and a sprayer. So we'll get a spreader and a sprayer, and that, that is what it is. We want to grow wheat. I'm just gonna grow wheat, wheat on both fields and uh, be done with it. So unfortunately, ooh, I really whack that thing. But this great plain seeder in real life can do both fertilizer and seed, but in the game it's not modeled. That's a little bit goofy. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I am picking on this game quite a bit, but that is a little bit aggravating. I, but I do like the game. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. This is this 
probably the third best in my opinion. I still think, even though I have a lot of problems with cattle and crops, I still think cattle and crops is a little bit better than this, but cattle and crops is not a finished game either. And of course, this doesn't seem like it is either, so <laughs> F, work. Watch me now. Hey, work, work. We're gonna start. Oh, man, it's really hard to tell the difference between textures on that. I mean, you can, but it's not. Okay, well. Well, and you can seed way too fast. Once again, eight miles an hour is a little fast for seeding. Maybe not, though. Some of these bigger seeders go a lot faster, so. F, stop working. I wish they keep F as all the controls. So, like, how you have to press Z to raise and lower some stuff. I wish F was the control to do it. Alas, it is not. I'm just, I'm just a player. I'm not a, a developer. They must have known better than me. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go ahead and plant these fields, guys, and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Once again, I'll be rotating tractors, so it's the McCormick's turn to hit the big field. Um, this guy will just be planting the small fields. So, see you in a little bit. I'm sadly coming to the realization that I probably am going to have to sell my pickup truck and the McCormick. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but I think that we kind of got into over... Like, everything else that I have, I need... Uh, but right now, I think the Landine, I'm sorry, the McCormick tractor and the, uh, the pickup truck are just luxuries that I don't need right now. Um, it's nice having the two tractors, but I think that this tractor is sufficient for what we're doing right now. And I think I just need the money. I'm, I'm trying to avoid taking out any more loans. I really need to get a fertilized, two, like a fertilizer and a sprayer, though. And that's going to cost, I think the sprayer was like 17000 and the fertilizer was like 15000 So I think... You know, maybe if I can get just the pickup truck, but if I sell the McCormick, I'll be able to pay my loan off, too. So I almost feel like that would be better, and then we won't be so strapped for cash. Because we're, we're, we're about to go into the red here, and I don't, I don't want to go bankrupt. Um, but this, you know, even the, just the cost of the fertilizer and stuff is killing me. So uh, I'll, I'll decide that in a little bit here once I'm done doing the seeding. But I think once I'm done seeding this field, I probably am just going to run the McCormick up to the shop and say goodbye. I've got that little tipper I can sell, too. It's probably not worth much, but it's worth something. Actually, we can just sell them from here. Durr. The selling, once again, unfortunately, they didn't simulate like FarmSim does where you sell it. If you're at the shop, you get more money. Here, that's not the case. Uh, you just sell it for a base price. And So let's go ahead and do that right now while we're thinking about it. Go into the tablet. And we're going to take a look at the vehicles. Selling of machine. We'll keep the Lindner. Yeah. Well, we'll sell that, and let's see what we got here. Uh, how much does it cost? We're not going to buy from here, but um, let's see. We need to get cultivation. We need how much is this? 19000 Yeah, we're going to have to sell something else. But let's see. And then how much are these? 6900 6, Is there a smaller one? So, I mean, I've got enough. I should have enough to buy both without... Selling them. I really don't want to sell the McCormick. Um, if I can avoid it. Because I really like that tractor. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to sell. Uh, these will be cheaper too when I go to the store. They'll be 20% cheaper. So uh, if I sell that wagon. Let's take a look. All our stuff. Simba. Um... Wait, do we have two of these? What? Oh, the trailer and the header are considered... Whatever. We need it. <laughs> um, yeah, that thing we can sell. So there's... We should have enough now to get both. Without... We still have our loan, but without having to sell the McCormick. Because I, I don't want to sell the McCormick. I like it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to keep doing this work, guys. And we'll catch up. Uh, so we just kind of made the farm a little bit more solvent there. By getting rid of the pickup truck. I don't really use it much aside from trying to get back and forth to the store quickly. But you can't even really, you know, I just, I don't know. Like, if you got to run to the store or whatever to get material. But see, everything that you need is right here on the farm, pretty much. So I don't really see a, a huge need for it, but anyway. All right, I'm going to keep seeding. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now, here's an interesting question. What do we do with the excess seed? Like, can you sell it back? How does that work? Like, what do we do with it? I'm going to take it back and see if I can... Figure, figure that one out, but we have almost finished planting. 
Once again, I like the way the map updates. Somebody else had pointed that out. You can see on the on the real time map to my left there, you can see the fields all green now. Um, it's because we planted all of it, so that's pretty cool. Like it has a, a live update feature. I think that's pretty sweet. <laughs> my buff. Uh, anyway, it's pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we do with the excess seed. So all the fields are now seeded. We've got enough money to buy our hardware that we need for planting. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look and take a look see what do we do with the excess seed I'm like I'm thinking maybe we sell it back but I I don't know because like what if you want to do barley next do you have to buy another cedar or does this just automatically empty out or how does that work tell me please 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 tell me now how does my cedar work sorry a Duran Duran moment. <laughs> Goofy. Goofy. Oops. Barley. R. Hmm. So maybe we don't get to sell it back. Barley R. So no, it just, whatever's left over is left over and you lose it. That's pretty freaking lame. <laughs> it's a wheat 153. So we get a discount because it's there's already weed in there, but if you want to get rid of it, you actually just lose the seed that's in there. That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> that's, yeah. What's pretty pathetic, Mater? You. Oh, thanks. That's not very nice. He said, what does pathetic mean? <laughs> uh, like stupid or sad? Thanks, John. He said, okay, you're not pathetic. Thank you, I think. <laughs> Thanks, John. I love you, too. I said, you're not pathetic. Lame. Like this game. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we have the, the field seeded. The next step is going to be to fertilize. There's not a huge rush, but let's run over to the store, and I'll buy the two. Let's see, detach. I'll buy the two items that I need um, from the store. Um, let's switch this this way. All right, see you guys in a minute. I'm going to run up there. I'll be right back. Okay, what? Dad, oh, virus. wait, shoot. <laughs> that wasn't recording? Well, what was recording? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, well, I, I went to the store and I bought, um, I bought both of these. I bought the small spreader because we can use the small tractor and then this big trailer for spraying. So we got those two items. I don't know why it didn't record, and I hope I'm going to have to figure out what I did record because now it's going to screw everything up. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. So my only frustration with all this is I can't, put this on the front of the tractor which sucks so now i gotta make two trips instead of doing one it's freaking great thanks though and probably in real life i don't know that you could pick it up with a front fork anyway but still that sucks now i'm gonna use the little tractor to, to spray lowest impact on the field as possible well, not spray but to, to you know spread because the our little landini should be able to do this so we'll do that next uh, and then I'll, you know, later on I'll bring, because we don't need the sprayer, like, right this instant on the farm. Because there's nothing, we have to wait till the crops start to grow before we spray them, so. Now the spraying in real life would be insecticide, herbicide, like that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we also need to put water down. Maybe halfway through the growth we'll do water, as long as it, well, we'll see if it rains. If it rains, then we don't need to do it, but at some point it, they will need water, so the irrigation needs to be near 100%. Uh, so let's go ahead and drop this thing off. Uh, where is the fertilizer? In. Um, anyway, here's this. So refill two hundred forty dollars. Yeah, see, we're gonna need all this money. Still eight thousand bucks left. If I need to sell this tractor, I can. But I don't. I think we'll be okay. I think we're, now we're okay because we got this, all the stuff that we need. We're gonna detach that. And I'm just going to park in the garage with this guy. We're going to get the blue tractor, and we're going to actually use the blue tractor to do this. So let's park this guy. My property. Eek. All right, so let's see our tractors. E. And we're going to jump in the Landini. Drop that trailer right there. Nope. Drop it. There we go. It's getting really dark out. It's only 5 o'clock. It's 10 after 5. 
Yet it looks like it's about to rain. I don't think rain's in the forecast, though. It's just been a really overcast, dark day. So, here's the little beep beep tractor. It's all messy. I'll have to clean it up. It's our freebie. Our freebie tractor. Our free freebie orchard tractor. I think it's only like a 50 horsepower tractor. Maybe 60. The 610 name. I don't know. Now let's see how we do with this. I'm really not good at doing these, but... Hopefully this will cover both of our fields. I don't know. It might not. That's, that was pretty expensive to fill. Well, nah, 240 bucks. I mean, really. How expensive could it be? All right, so let's... I don't know the working width of this thing. I guess it's... it's it looks like it's pretty wide. Can't really tell where I've been. Hopefully on the way back I'll be able to see it. So this little tractor is good for this kind of stuff. I don't know that I love the dirt tractors on this game. I think the dirt, even though it may not look totally realistic on farm sim, it looks a little better. But I guess in real life you would have splotchy dirt like this because it's like muddy, dirty dirt. Hopefully we'll be able to see the impact. And of course it's really hard to tell where we've been and where we're going. There we go. Why do you say I'm mean? I'm not mean. No, I'm not. I'm nice. John thinks I'm mean. Do you guys think I'm mean? Sometimes I'm a little bossy, but <laughs> this bug says I'm bossy when we play, we play on Alps Farm. She's like, you're bossing me. Like, I'm not. I swear. It might be actually easier if I turn the lights off to see what I'm... Nope. <laughs> I've got no idea where I fertilized and where I haven't. That's great. Can we actually see? Yeah, you can. You can see where you've been. Can. Oh. The girls are, are wrestling. Okay, the good news is, though, we're not, like, flying through fertilizer like I was afraid we were going to be. It's more like a, a gentle flow. So we've only used, like, 200 of 1,400, so. But I think I'm... I don't know. It's really hard to tell where I've been. I'm sure you'll be fine, John. She cares about everybody. Are you kidding? Chubba loves everyone. No, she doesn't. You're right. She's just grumpy. Never let, she never lets anyone in her room? She never comes out of her room? Well, that's that's her age right now. That's, that's worth... Yeah. It's tough. Not fun. Did you just say she's stupid? I can't do that right now, John. I'm driving a tractor and fertilizing. I'm not mean. You said do it then. You just you wait till I'm done with this field and then I'll do it, alright? He's trying to use my iPad. I can't tell where I've been. Dang it, I just don't know. So this is a little harder than farms. I'm not sure in real life. Alright. Let me unlock the iPad for John. He's getting fussy. There we go. Now John's happy. Okay, I guess you've seen enough fertilizing. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this. I'll catch you guys when I'm done. I just realized something because I'm stupid. You can see on the map where you fertilized. So I'm using the map now to kind of judge where I'm going. That's pretty cool. So you can almost use it like a GPS system. Like So look down on the left there on the map. And you can see where I've been and where I haven't been. There's some big, some big spots I'll have to clear up. But if I put my nose in, like using the arrows, like right here, I should be able to cover that whole area. And I'll just follow that line. Yep. And you can see there I'm covering it. Maybe I need to go over to the right just a hair. But Cool. So that's how we tell. So you can use your map as a as a, a guidance system there. And I've made, obviously, a big mistake up ahead. But now we know. The more you know, the more you grow. <laughs> so we're going to have to fix those all those divots that I did. Thanks for that insight, John. So the more you don't know, the more you don't know. I guess that's a truism. So we're going to pull in right here and fill this little gap in. 
sweet. So now we can get the field to close to 100%. So keep that in mind as you're going. Just use the use the map marker if you can't see where you're going physically. <laughs> Thanks for that, John. That's too much information. Thanks. Get out. Okay, go. Is it clogged? Was that was it you? No. I think it was you. <coughs> it wasn't me. I haven't eaten a potato in about two months. No, potato skins the yeah, I miss potato skins. It's one of the things I'm not allowed on my Atkins diet. What? Or paleo or whatever. I'm gonna be recording all night, kid. I missed that spot. Oh well, life will go on. I'm sorry, John. What? Yeah, it's 9:20 right now. I probably because I got I have to do another game too. So, um. ah! well, that's just the way it goes, kid. That's just the way it is, baby. Can you what? Yeah, I mean Violet's not even here, so go ahead. Just kick her off. If she yells, tell her I said so. Tell her dad said you can have a turn. John, you're just a silly boy. All right, we got one more little row to do, and then we'll finish up. I'm still, I'm sorry, guys. I'm making you watch this whole thing. I'm enamored by watching the little line on the field. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now, another nice thing, you can, since you can use that field thing as a GPS, I can actually do, I can actually spray in the cabin and know how far my spray is going. And see the results as I watch on my screen and steer according to that. So that kind of helps a little bit. That's that's pretty nifty. I'm using those lines. I did miss a little bit on the side there, but well, life will go on. Make a U-turn, back it up. So I'm just I'm actually mostly. Even though I'm in cabin, I'm actually mostly watching the map. I'm not really watching the screen. There, somebody's just logged me out. Seth, probably. Or John. John, could you... That sucks, because I'm in big picture mode. I will not be able to... Sorry, guys, I won't be able to get rid of that warning until after the video's over. So, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. But that's pretty cool, so you can stay in tractor and use that, like, seriously as a GPS mode. And that, I like that. Well, I was able to get this one up to 95. It's showing that it's 100%, but so it's really not super accurate, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, let's go ahead and clean this guy up, and uh, I think that'll be it for this episode. I know we probably have several episodes here that I've done that you've been watching, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, it's nice to be able to try the Landini out and actually find something that it's good for which it was great for that so it's a good good way to save on gas too this tractor does not use a whole bunch of fuel while it's operating so uh, it only has it only holds 20 10 or 20 gallons so the the rex 4100f dlc tractor is that done no nope. Maybe it never will be. Nope, there we go, okay. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, jeez. Okay, there's fertilizer all over my barn now. Or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna put this, where are we gonna, I don't even know where I'm gonna store this stuff, because I got so much stuff. I really need a second shed here on the farm. That's the, no, we could probably put some of the stuff in here though, like, because this is just like a storage facility for grain, so I don't see why we couldn't. They don't give you a lot of room to sneak in, but let's sneak this tractor in right here. <laughs> oh, brother. No, this is a bad idea. Uh-oh. Uh, fail. So now what? Can we, can we reset the vehicle? How do we? What do we do when this happens? I don't know. I don't know. Shh. 
Shop. I guess. How to res reset a vehicle? Hmm. I don't know how to do that unless we're here. What does this do? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll let you know. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed us doing this so far. Uh, I've been really enjoying the series yeah. myself. <laughs> I'm screwed. I can't get out. Oh, my God. That's why I put this down. Can I get some traction? Nope. I'm really in a bad spot. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get out. No, I don't really want to look at your face. But Okay, maybe this will work, though. Trying to rock it loose. <sighs> Slowly. Come on. Work your way loose. We need some all-wheel drive. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode once again. Have a great night. Thumbs up always help. Subscriptions always help. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on Pure Farming. The Getting Your Tractor Stuck Simulator 2018. Have a great night, and we will see you next time. Okay, quick um, addendum to my video. So apparently you can press F. That's not it. They said to press F or X. Okay, how do I turn the radio off? Four. They said get in the tractor and press F. And that's obviously not working. Or X. That's not working either. <laughs> it's just not working. It's a vehicle selection map. R. X. Nope. <laughs> what the frick? No, so this didn't work. They said that's how you do it, and it's not working. They said the other thing to do is to hang on. Okay, so let's go to a different tractor. Um, so tab, enter this. Whatever. It doesn't matter what you get into. I'm going to have to clear a spot in my... Whoa! And for some reason, my time scale went back up to 24x, even though I didn't want that. I hate that stuff. I hate when they make this... Hang on a second. Yeah, so that didn't work. Um, let's see. So they said that you have to maybe clear out a spot in your barn. And so I'm going to do that. Mm, probably move this. And we'll grab this baler. Nope, that's not what we're going to do. And move it out. And they said the next thing that you can do is to... Let's get this here. And then they said you fly your drone. So let's fly the drone. And they said press the V key, I think, or... I said there to, to click on this EVF transport. And then we can do the. Yep, there we go. Okay, so. Landini. Well, first, yeah, the Landini first. Where is it? I can't pick the Landini. Frick! Great Plains, McCormick, Metal Tech. Simpa. 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 Trometer. Really? I, the one tractor that I need to transport, I can't. You've got to be kidding me. The, is the McCormick's not on here either, is it? No, there it is. Is the Lindner on here? No. Of course, because they're DLCs, the game doesn't recognize them because of bad programming. So now, my tractor is pretty much... I'm screwed. The tractor is forever stuck in the barn. There's no way to reset it unless I freaking sell it and then buy it back. And then I'm going to lose money because I it was free. So I'm going to have to pay for it next time I get it. Wow, that is really stupid. So bug number one for me, uh, my tractor is now stuck forever in the barn and there's no way to get it out. How'd that happen? I was trying to drive over here to store stuff and I got stuck and now I can't move it. And How'd you it's, get stuck? I don't know. So that's really dumb. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out something, but they need to they need to fix that. So anyway, have a great night, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, it's morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. Um, 
I'm a little frustrated right now because. Nope. Just want to eat that. Eat it. I, um. Eat that. They've done some revisions to the game. I think they're making it harder in some ways. I feel like all the pots of food are gone. Anyway, I played a little bit, unfortunately, sorry. And ended up just being frustrated because I realized after recording for like an hour, there was no sound, so I have to start all over again. Which happens frequently in this game. I've decided today we are going to take a ride uh, and go to... Um... No, I only have 12 gold for some reason, and I'm not sure what happened. I don't remember what I spelled. I must have spent it all, but I don't remember what I spent it on. Um, but we need to eat more because I'm pretty malnourished here. Eat some fruit. Eat some drinking water. Dried mushrooms. I probably shouldn't have eaten drinking water, but nourishment's 91. That's probably good enough for now. Um, I want to continue. Oh, and I need to put my stuff on. Oy. I was dressed for my date. I need to get back into my Scalitz Waffenfrock because I'm from Scalitz. Metal shield. Yeah, all that good stuff. Armor, food, quest items. Yeah. Uh, quest log. I'm going to set this as our primary. Turn these off right now. We're just going to have at your service lady on the map. We'll pick those up later. But uh, I'm going to ride like the wind. We're going to make our way up to um, Sasau to pick up the crown because that's the last thing we need to do for this mission. So we're going to fast travel to Lecheco. Yep. And then we'll pick up and because we've already been through Rate. We need to go through Ratty again. And then we'll head into Sassy. Sasal.